Forti EDR is an innovative and comprehensive endpoint protection solution, part of the Fortinet SecOps platform. In this video, we will discuss how Forti EDR's default exfiltration prevention policy can detect and diffuse malware and other advanced tactics, like lateral movement, in real time to protect data and prevent breaches. The most powerful proprietary feature of the Forti EDR platform is its comprehensive out-of-the-box policies. Each policy comes with multiple highly intelligent rules that enforce it. For example, the exfiltration prevention policy enables 40 EDR to distinguish which connection establishment requests are malicious ones. These policies can operate in one of two modes, prevention mode or simulation mode. In prevention mode, 40 EDR enforces its active prevention policy that blocks all activity that violates relevant rules in the security policy. In simulation mode, 40 EDR only issues an alert. In this mode, 40 EDR does not block malicious activity. Please note that as you can see here, we will be running the subsequent demonstrations in simulation mode. This will allow the threats to execute so that we can analyze the associated tactics and techniques used by these advanced threats. In this example, we'll be examining LockBit 2.0. This is a LockBit variant that operates as ransomware as a service. This LockBit variant has an enhanced propagation component and will automatically distribute itself throughout a domain. Let's run 40 EDR in simulation mode on a domain controller to see how the LockBit ransomware behaves and how 40 EDR defends against it. Upon execution, we see files being encrypted, a ransom note being dropped, and in short order, the wallpaper on this machine is replaced with a ransomware message with instructions for the user of how to pay the ransom. Additionally, LockBit is taking multiple actions in the background. Let's review some of the behavior in the 40 EDR central manager. We'll focus on a specific set of events from the LockBit ransomware related to spreading through the network. First, we should note that a couple of different rules were triggered as part of the exfiltration prevention policy. One, malicious file detected. The file was identified as malicious by our machine learning engine based on analysis of the file. Two, connection attempt from a suspicious application. Some applications do not initiate connections to the network on their own, but are still commonly used by threat actors to exfiltrate data from the network. When the ransomware was executed, it was able to deploy group policies to all machines connected to the domain. This typically involves disabling Windows Defender real-time protection and various other alert and reporting mechanisms on the victim machines. The ransomware then performs queries to see which machines are listed, and the ransomware will be copied to all the machines on the list. Here, in the telemetry captured by 40 EDR, we can see the PowerShell command used to push the group policy update to all the machines in the domain. In addition to textual information that is displayed, the event graph provides an image depicting the process chain, such as connection establishment and data alteration, up to the action that was blocked. Here we see connection attempts to other devices on the network, as LockBit is also using PowerShell to connect to domain machines that it discovered when querying the domain controller. At any time, we can use the Investigation View button to open a new window with a graphical and interactive view to further drill down the chain of activities involved in the event. The investigation view window helps us understand the flow of activity events using threat hunting with a dynamic and interactive view of the activity event details. Here we can see how LockBit is trying to connect over port 135, attempting to encrypt other hosts on the network. Port 135, used for RPC client server communication, is a classic example of how attackers use these remote services for tactics like lateral movement. It is once again worth noting that we can see that 40 EDR is running in simulation mode allowing us to see the full scope of this attack. While running in prevention mode, 40 EDR would have stopped LockBit prior to execution, and other tactics and techniques would have been blocked and noted with protection icons in all event and investigation views. As soon as 40 EDR detects suspicious process flows and behaviors, it immediately diffuses the potential threats by blocking outbound communications and access to the file system from those processes. These steps prevent data exfiltration, command and control communications, file tampering, and ransomware encryption. To learn more about Fortinet's market-leading endpoint security solution or to schedule a demo, visit fortinet.com.